हेलो लिसनर्स यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल फार्मेसी लेसन्स मेड इजी द टॉपिक फॉर टुडेज वीडियो इज पैसिव इम्यूनाइजेशन इन द लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एक्टिव इम्यूनाइजेशन एंड फॉर टुडे द टॉपिक इज पैसिव इम्यूनाइजेशन एंड द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन एक्टिव एंड पैसिव इम्यूनाइजेशन विल ऑल्सो बी डिस्कस्ड हेयर सो लेट्स बिगिन Uh, if we compare uh, the active and the passive immunization uh, active immunization was more efficacious that we have discussed in the previous video and the pre the passive immunization is lef- less efficacious the reason for this is uh, the passive immunization is being done inside the body by artificial or you can say on the spot antibodies right they are not produced by the host itself they are being manufactured outside either in another person or in the animal body uh, who have been actively immunized that means this passive immunity is the next step to active immunity itself right so it is less efficacious obviously it will take less duration of uh, action for it to get executed what i mean to say is the Uh, it will take less time for it to get effectively enter inside the body and show its biological or therapeutic effect it will uh, afford immediate protection obviously uh, if it is ready made antibodies which are produced in another person or animal who has been actively immunized so the latent period time which was taken in the case of active immunization is overcome that has totally been uh, reduced to zero so that's why directly the antibodies are acting that is why it is it will afford immediate protection right so how it can be induced it can be induced by anti sera or immunoglobulins so they will impart passive immunity and uh, as discussed they are ready made antibodies produced by another person or animal who has been actively immunized and are then transferred in the body of the patient in which it is desired so this is uh, not prophylactic in nature as was the case with active immunization rather it is curative in nature okay uh, so uh, acutely ill debilitated or immunocompromised individual may not be able to generate adequate antibody response therefore they will require passive immunization and Uh, the curative action by passive immunization okay so the next question is how the sera or immunoglobulins will impart active immunity the answer is very simple it is by the transfer of ready made antibodies into the recipient how they the ready made antibodies will be prepared by using the another body of another person or animal which has been actively immunized right hope you understood this if you like the video please click on the like button do subscribe my channel and share it on social media thank you very much